All right, coming into the city for another day of uh, mini split installations slash service calls here in Wilmington, North Carolina. So stay tuned for some HVAC fun. All right, today we're installing a Sanyo split mini split air conditioner. Actually, a heat pump in. There's our back plate. There's our spot on the wall we're going to use to penetrate the wall. And the first time I've used a Sanyo. So uh, it's a DC inverter, 20 sear, 10 HSVF, I believe. 18,000 BTUs. Can't really see it down there that much. But uh, open that in over here to cool this garage they filled in. And we'll be setting it. It's going to come out right, a, right up there and run down. Put a little enclosure, run it over. It's actually going to sit in on some blocks because the bracket did not come in for some reason. So we're going to be putting on blocks for a few days until the bracket comes in and we can hang it with the bracket. Now I've got the uh, backing on the wall. I drilled the hole out there as like before. I'm going to go ahead and fit the evaporator up there and stick the line set and the wire and everything out through that hole. So the rest of the work will be outside except for tying in the wire. Alright, I'm running the, all the line sets and drain and the interconnect wire down. Got it inside uh, some of that slim duct speedy channel. Uh, it's not quite finished yet. I just got it on there to hold it in place while I'm finishing up. Put some cinder blocks down put the unit on top of until we can get our we had a wall hanging rack that was supposed to be here and it's not here yet so we're just going to jack it up till it comes in. Alright we're putting on some flares in the rain here. What I, what I do is I put some thread sealant on these. This is nylog thread sealant and what is it holds high pressure if it's starting to leak or something like that it's able to counteract that leak and it does a really good job of sealing flares. I know I've had uh, small leak on the flares at about 350 pounds it would leak a pound uh, ever so often and this stops it dead in its tracks it's just awesome and there's blue ones for HFC and red ones for um, CFC and ACFC refrigerants it's really good so next step will be tightening these up and then putting pressure on the lines alright I'm uh, pulling a vacuum now I have the 5 16th core remover on the mini split so I can remove the core so the vacuum moves faster I have the adapter down to quarter inch and I have a quarter inch head on uh, my half inch hose which goes back to one of two hoses that go to my uh, vacuum manifold uh, from Yellow Jacket. I have the vacuum gauge hooked up to one as you see we're pulling down nicely. It's only been running for about three minutes but this sucker does a real good job. Uh, just a generic pump. I still have the same pump I had when I started my business. Uh, one day I'll get a better one but it, it still does the job real good so what can you say? Uh, on a regular air conditioner split system. I can hook both hoses up. It really draws it down real fast. Uh, so we're going to let it run for a while. See how far down we get while I go inside and finish up some ends of the wiring on the indoor air handler which is four wire. Three conductors and a ground. It goes between the outside unit and the inside unit. See how energy efficient we are here. So I'll check back when I got that done. All right, we've pulled the vacuum. It's pumped right down to 65 microns, which is uh, a on life. Uh, the pump really does a great job. My old old setup, which is the gauges over there running the vacuum, would have never made it down this far. It, it might have, but it would have been like a year or two from now. But this happened in uh, half an hour. So it's kind of bottomed out as far as it's going to be able to go. So we're about done here. Next, we'll be disassembling this and putting the line set or the uh, the gauges on it, ready to crack up in the service valve as soon as the electrician gets a disconnect on the wall and some wiring down here will be set to go.